Right, hey guys, Annie Quinn here, we're back with Sherlock. I think I already got delayed, it's not here until next week. <laughs> well, not even next, what do you mean? I get it on the Saturday and I record on a Saturday, so we'll see <laughs> if I ever get it. There's one in my hat. <laughs> it's not here, and I'm really sad about it. Like, I'm legit sad. But, um, no. We're starting season three, and there's only one more season after this. This fucking this is a short journey, but yeah, no. Sherlock, uh, I've just uploaded episode one on YouTube. There's one pretty cool on there, so I'm glad you guys enjoyed. And yeah, no, I enjoyed season two a lot. I thought season two was just a lot of fun. I think the comedy was on point. I really like John and uh, Sherlock's relationship. I think the side characters with Molly, Mrs. Hutz, and uh, Sherlock's brother and the cop are all pretty cool. And yeah, no, I'm curious to see. We left on quite a big cliffhanger, so Sherlock is dead but we know he's alive um i'm guessing i'm assuming that molly gave him a drug that makes him look like he died and then because his corpse would have went to molly's thing i'm guessing she would have done something there um otherwise would have asked molly for the favor i'm assuming they've killed um morty at moriarty uh if he, there's no way he could have survived the gunshot to his head um, which is actually quite a cool move because I, I will say I like Moriarty's character, but he just doesn't strike me someone who could last a long time. If you know what I mean, like the way he does stuff, it's so obvious he's a criminal. If you know what I mean, and it's like he, he it just makes no sense if he stays around because it's like this guy, this got superpowers. Um, so having a fun villain like him works if he's only here for two seasons. Like, if he's a two-season villain, he works really fucking well. Um, though it's only four seasons, so he could come back at, like, next season, or he could come back in future seasons. So I am curious to see what to do with his character. Because, yeah, no, but the way he went out was pretty cool. Um, he's definitely crazy. And, yeah, the only really crazy character like that, really fun to watch. But it's just like, if they go on, if they stay around for multiple seasons, you're just sort of like... No, I can't. It's not believable. So if he is actually dead, good on him. I think he was a very fun villain, and I like the way he went out, and I think he was really good for the story. If he's still alive, I'm going to be like, yeah, we'll see. So I'm curious to see what my answer starts going to be and see what I think. But yeah, we'll do that. We're going to jump into it, guys. So guys, enjoy the action. Leave a like, subscribe. Let's jump this. Three, two, one, play. How do you get a bungee and everything ready? Wouldn't he, wouldn't he have assassin? Oh no, because they would have been focused on the targets. I can get by most of this. The bungee just seems a bit excessive. I don't. I just can't get. Back. I'm sure it's going to explain it. I just can't wrap my head around. He got a bungee ready. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, Molly getting a kiss. <laughs> to be fair, she just did save every one of their lives. I assume. Okay, was that the made-up story? Wait, I can't tell if that was real or not now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that's not what actually happened. I'm assuming that was what he just I need to I need to know now. <laughs> just... Okay, I've <laughs> it's just a bungee jump. Hey John's moustache, Jesus Christ. Oh, poor John. <laughs> He's just going through trauma, bless the guy. I don't know if I kind of want the bungee jump fairy to be real now because it's just so wacky that it'd be funny as fuck. What? Is this is this twenty four? Is like, he gone to rush? <laughs> what a great start to a season! <laughs> just so, just like I'm <laughs> John needs to get rid of that tash. Jesus Christ. Could have dropped a phone call to John, you know. What is the specific reason he's hid? Like, I assume he hid because obviously Moriarty's people are still out there, but I'm curious why two years. 
Mariage's network over two years. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, that makes more sense. I was going to say because like his people would have still been about, and I was just curious why it took two years. So he's dismantling all of it, so John and everyone was safe. Should have bought him a hat as well. That was so aggressive. Oh, it's because he hadn't seen Mrs. Hudson for a while. Is, is he? Shoot. He's a bit of an iron, but. <laughs> she just implied him and Sherlock just in a relationship. That's funny. <laughs> this, is, this is a gem. <laughs> Must be protected. <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> she just like. <laughs> oh, that was actually golden. <laughs> This is what's the best. Looks like I've been married. Oh, for fuck's sake. Is he going to ruin the proposal? <laughs> Kind of want the hat. God, he is a sexy bastard, isn't he? Is he getting a dramatic city shot? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, need, you, need, you need the dramatic city shot. Just a masterclass thief right now. Is he drawing a moustache? Can I help you with anything, Joe? Alright, yeah, I'm looking for a bottle of champagne. <laughs> Just a dick move. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. It's just trying to do this for you, and it's just not working. Uh, <laughs> trying to be so dramatic, bless him. <laughs> got there, and it got there in the end. Put him. John's ready to throw hands. I don't know if he's going to laugh or not. <laughs> he's going to punch it. Oh. I don't like this so good sometimes. Mm. Oh, that was good. I like that. <clears throat> you do do that when you like cry. Oh. oh, that's so good. I like that. <laughs> Mate, John's. John's put nailing it. That last episode was great. This episode. <laughs> oh, Sherlock, you got no tact. <laughs> oh, <that> sounds funny. <laughs> Who? Molly. Molly. Molly Hooper and some of my hands not working, that's all. Hooper? Okay. So does your brother, Molly Hooper, and a hundred tramps. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love the vibe of this episode. <laughs> Just the music that I'm going in. <laughs> I think he's reacting perfectly. He could have trust John. <laughs> you could have a broken nose after all this. <laughs> it's confused, look. In the knee? Oh, what an opening. What an opening. Do do That was so unnecessary. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. Here's the what really happened. Fucking bungee jump my ass. <laughs> oh uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know this is going to show, but just... <laughs> just... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> and John is such a fucking vibe. <laughs> he is. <laughs> smooth, smooth, John, smooth. <laughs> you, are, you should be a criminal because it'd just be a smooth one. <laughs> I've really enjoyed this episode, though. You'll need it. I'll give you five minutes to my personal insurer to get on the case. I'm not a great professional, but you're the best help now. Go oh, bugger. Oopsie. Can't help. There's so many just face palm moments. Why are they playing that of all games? I, I can't be asked. <laughs> oh, this is so. She's not insignificant. <laughs> Never fun with the swear words. Oh, there was actually tits there. Why does he feel like he's someone in a disguise? You do look like someone in disguise. I don't blame John. I don't actually blame him. He looks like someone in disguise. Oh, Molly. Need a Molly appreciation episode. Thank you. Some Molly appreciation. I say she's anyone who went on the hit list. Yes, Molly. Be happy. That's <laughs> so shit. <laughs> <laughs> Your kidnapped and nearly burnt death at a far less time. Look at it from its very source. Hmm? November. Oh, Parliament. Be risky. Just walk around the ladder. They'll let you in everywhere, apparently. <laughs> Love that video. Because there's not enough time to get 
Fucking over here. <laughs> Stupid. This is a bad dog. Oh, look at the emotion on him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And now he's going to turn off the bomb because that's Sherlock. Yeah, he's done it. That that one minute thirty has gone miles away. <laughs> Dramatic. <laughs> More than twenty-five homos knew about it. <laughs> All the Moriarty's crew. <laughs> Don't worry, Artie, uh, his brother. Poor John. So that went too far, that went too far fetched from what I thought it would be. Ever since he was invited to be considered, is it done? Okay, that's good because that was one of the things that I saw the sniper would have saw more. So now I'm glad they actually put it that. No, <laughs> this poor this guy. This is a punch bag of the show. I've seen the girl yet. The one, the other girl betrayed him as well. Is he going to be okay? Does that imply that it's not the full accurate story, or? I was going to say, it was stuck on that time a long time ago. Really? Fuck off, was it that easy? Wanker. Why is there an off, why is there an off switch on a fucking bomb? Hey. <laughs> Bants. Oh, don't analyze him, Sherlock. Yeah, he's going to analyze him. Or is he just normal? Is he a non sociopath? Is he just like ordinary? Did Molly pick ordinary? Or definitely a killer? <laughs> the next criminal of the show. Oh, his eyes. Is it when it dilates that the other four is when the bigger in it? <laughs> Did the eye. Oh, Jesus. So I guess we're never going to know. Going to keep it sort of implied how he survived. Uh, some of the scenes reveal how Sherlock fate is. I guess we'll never know. Quite truly. No. Uh, fun episode of the show. I think, like, very, very. The comedy of it was on point. The relationship between John and Sherlock, as usual, perfect. Um, no, I just really enjoyed that. I think that was just a vibe of an episode. I loved the storyline to it. And yeah, no, it was definitely intense. It was interesting. I just thought the comedy was actually upgraded in this episode. I think it was funny. It was quite funny. Molly, I didn't get at the end with replying to the boyfriend. Replying, is the boyfriend gay or there's something wrong with the boyfriend? Um, because they're not going to tell her. So I'm curious what they're going to do. What happens there? Um, overall, no, very good episode. I enjoyed, I just, I don't know. It was just really chill. This was a really good, really good episode. Curious to see what the new uh, villain of the series is going to be like. 
Um, continuing watching the banter flow between those two. And yeah, no, um, acting from John was absolutely superb as well, I think, throughout the whole episode. Um, especially the, the more emotional bits. I really do like those. And I think they're like some of the better bits of the show. But yeah, no, hopefully you guys enjoy the action. But for patron comments, Cynthia Port, if I remember well, there were two years between season two and finale and season three. Such a long wait and so many crazy theories of how Sherlock managed to fake his own death if Moriarty was truly dead. You have good theories for sure. This episode definitely one of my favourites. The storytelling, the acting is on point in the ending. Just a really good finale to let Phony distrust on Christmas Day. It was a... Uh... No, I think it was a very good finale. One of my favourite episodes of the show, actually. Um, Andrew Scott, Moriarty, is such a good actor. I actually met him at a convention a few years ago. And also Molly's actress. Oh, He's actually really sweet compared to the character he portrays. I hope he's nothing like the character he portrays. Jesus Christ. He does look like someone who's just quite a chill guy. Martin Freeman John is uh, moving in his last scene when he begs Sherlock to not be dead. Even though Sherlock is still alive, it still hurts because John lost his best friend. And as far as you know, we won't see him again. The Mycroft betrayal. Love how John, I love how it was planned as well. So Mycroft didn't actually betray. They actually did that on purpose. Love how John did not even see, not even say anything and just left it. Let just left. It's a shame Sherlock leaves Amazon, uh, Amazon soon. Um, the future was always fun and hope you won't have too difficulty. Yeah, but I think it's been renewed. Yeah, oh wait, no, it's leaving Prime five days still. Sometimes it sometimes it renews like straight after. It's just they have to say that. Wonderful X Full Port. I remember waiting through three and season two and three. Glad you don't have to wait like a bit that. It was torture, boiling my eyes out after this one and I first saw it and still got teary eyes now. Very excited to watch the next season with you. Side note, sorry if it's been mentioned before, I missed it. But I've been wondering what has been done to where he must face the wall. Uh thought it was grumpy, but he's there at the end. <laughs> Oh, yes, I know. Uh, sorry if I mentioned it at some point and I missed it. But I was wondering, what has he done? That's done where he must face the wall for. I think it's... I don't actually know. I think that's Doc. Doc. Fun fact for anyone actually wondering why... I don't know why these are here, honestly. I've had it. There was a gift from my sister when I was, like, one. And I still own them all. One, two, three, four, five. I think I've got five. The one's down there. Uh, Sleepy is down there. I don't know where the other one is. But yeah, there was a gift from my sister when I was younger and I've just kept them. I don't know. I probably should do something fun with them, but I just never know. Yeah, it's easy. Just a happy to go around. Grumpy's my boy. The fact thing is, Grumpy's very happy. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> <laughs> so for one of the funniest moments is happening next episode get ready mate this episode was funny as fuck like honestly this episode actually was really funny and so many face 